What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin and this is Kid A. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. Okay, first of all, how do you know Don? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. Madmen? What madmen? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge, the Esoteric Order of Dagon, or the... the Butcher. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. The Butcher? Tell me about the Butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that, but what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach, and watch your step here in Fishmouth. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. I've heard of the Esoteric Order. What's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here, in Fishmoth. The Half-Gufa? The Half-Gufa? Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but... Are you gonna do something about the Half-Gufa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. Uh, anyway... About Olmstein. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Aw, oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough. But I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway... Can you describe Olmstein to me? Ha! Huh. That would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly, and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. B but the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me, or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. Changing subject. So he does this a lot? Disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. <sighs> it's what I do. Hey, look at that! 
It's a pretty neat painting of the harbor. Accurate, too. Although I don't see old Zadok pictured, so maybe not that accurate. You can almost smell the decayed fish through the canvas. Kitty couldn't care less. Definitely not souvenir material. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I thought you couldn't read. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. This has got to be some kind of symbol, right? One whose significance eludes me, that's for sure. She doesn't care for birds. They're interesting, but not pick up and carry around interesting. A conspicuous piece of paper lying on Olmstein's bed. I really hope it's of some significance. It's okay, I can handle it. That big window overlooks the smelly intersection outside. Looks like the only way out, so I guess Olmstein jumped? But we didn't see or hear anything. It's closed from the outside, which makes it even stranger. This just keeps getting more and more complicated. Already seen the view. It stinks. I don't have a reason to leave this room in such a radical way. A particularly unattractive representative of the Fishmouth population. I'd place him anywhere between fearsomely fishy and repulsively reptilian. Just, uh, this town, man. Kitty couldn't care less. Definitely not souvenir material. Just a mug and pitcher of coffee. Nothing to shine any kind of light on this Olmstein character. It is just a hotel room, so it's not really telling me anything. Except the fact that Olmstein drinks coffee. Yes, I can confirm. It's domestic junk. I need nothing from there. Completely empty. Either Olmstein travels light, or he's just wearing everything right now. Or it's just a ruse, and he has no need for things like clothes and... You're going off the deep end, buddy. R right. S snapping out of it. She doesn't need it. Nah, I'm traveling light myself. That's Barnabas, if he's to be believed. Impressive looking fellow. No, I should speak to him. I found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Olmstein's sign. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but it must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this, and questioning it is a waste of time. Roll? What roll? Finding the book was an accident was just bad luck? That is how the tome works. The rolls are defined, but the book is pure chaos. Help me understand more about Olmstein. I need to find him. I need to change my cat back. That is your stake in all of this? Hey, that has a name, buddy. Sort of. How did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? That is a story for another time. <sighs> Why is his name Bob Olmstein? I mean, you call him Other and all of that, but his name is so common? There must be a reason for that, but does it really matter? Not to me. What's Olmstein's game? Is he good? Is he evil? These are questions that I cannot outright answer with a yes or no. All I have is my belief and some suppositions, and the former is much more powerful than the latter. 
If they do exist, maybe the answers are not meant for the likes of us. What we must do is play our roles. What belief? I believe I must try and stay by his side. And right now I am failing at that. What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? Perhaps checking on some seeds he had planted. Aw oh, man, I know you're just speaking figuratively and it's just that cryptic stuff again that just drives me mad. No offense, but why can't you just talk like normal people? I'm not normal people. Of course you're not. But is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? <sighs> I can tell you some things, I guess. He might seem ever-changing, yes, but... Balance and rules, these too are in his nature. Self-imposed balance and rules. Uh, I'm sure you can be more specific than that. What rules? Do you ever watch the moon buzz koan? Yeah, occasionally. There is something about it. It's phases. They seem to correlate to important events and to how he affects this world. But in which way exactly? You'll need to find out on your own. The Necronomicon. You seem to know more about it than I do. What is it? Ah, uh, many things. We might call it holy, and we might be mistaken. Holy, as in not of this world. Uh, debatable, but do go on. It changes things. Sherlock Holmes over here. It chooses roles. It alters the very nature of things. But it does it when it wants, or when the stars are right. And if it makes its way into the wrong hands, it ends existence itself. Well, that's encouraging. But mine are not the wrong hands, right? Right? They're not the most competent. That much is clear. No, they are not. I think. Why does it keep changing? The Necronomicon is chaos in written, volatile form. What do its pages hold? What language is it written in? And what does it all mean? I've never read it, nor do I want to. All I have to go on are rumors and whispers, but both hold more and more power in this world. As for the meaning of the words, some of them are most probably incantations, or instructions of some kind. Instructions? Yes, and stories. Stories? What stories? It does not matter now. You must focus on your next move. Would it be safer in your hands? You do seem to know a lot more about it. No. No. Maybe I fear it more than you do. But that is not why I refuse it. It is not for me to bear it. Yeah, I guess I need it to turn Kitty back. Yes, yes, you, uh, you need to do that. You said the book is pure chaos, but Olmstein is about rules and balance? How does that work? You make a good point. For a while now, I've been suspecting there must exist a counterpoint to the chaotic tome. If there is such a thing, it should be sought out before it's too late. Great, but I have no leads, no nothing. Can you help out in any way? I am considering it. Let me think about it. <gasps> what was that? I think they're coming. The stairs. Damn it! Quick, out the window! Are you serious? It's really up high! Have faith. You can make it. I'll hold them back. But I don't know what to do or where to go or... There's no time. Go! Go! Find peace. Find peace. <laughs>